Hey guys, this is the the Duda 2, and um, this is going to be another review. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing uh, the Go program Go++ version 7 Deluxe. Um, my friend let me borrow it for the sole purpose of uh, doing a review on it for you guys. Um, I also have another friend who has, um, uh, it's, a, it's funny, I, I got three friends who play Go and each of them has a different computer program. Um, my other friend, that my previous video was Many Faces. This one's Go++. And um, for Crazy Stone, by the way, the way that it's set up, uh, because you need the internet to get on it, um, I'll have to go over his house to review that one. So that's what's taking so long. Sorry about uh, the amount of time it took for this video to come out. I, I'm going through midterms right now, so uh, my video making time is uh, you know pretty stifled right now. But uh, I managed to get some free time uh, early in the morning to get this in for you guys. Um, like I said, the program is Go++ version 7. Um, it doesn't have as many features as uh, many faces, but it's got uh, a bunch of a uh, bunch of pretty neat things. Um, I'm going to zoom in as best best I can here, and I'll use the mouse that you you could see pretty good, and I'll tell you what everything is. Here we have file setting settings action view and help and uh, here we have new game uh, move now pass take back and then you have a bunch of arrows for choosing um, if you uh, let's see, I can maybe get a little closer here yeah here um, get your little arrows for moving forward backwards and a prisoner very standard just a couple a uh, couple buttons um, let's see. So what I'm going to do is file. Uh, I guess it's a uh, new game here. You could choose your color, black or white. Um, let's get you in a little closer if I can. Uh, board size: 19 by 19, 13 by 13, 9 by 9. Handicap: uh, 1 to 9. Comey. Uh, it looks like you can do no Comey, half point Comey, all the way up to 10 Comey and playing level, only one through five. Um, so we'll play the weakest right now to start it. I'll, I'll play black here. Don't criticize. Uh, let's turn the volume up so you can hear the clicks. Very mild, uh, mild clicks. Pretty neat. It goes fast. One nice feature is if you noticed, you could see where the opponent is thinking. Let's play poorly here. Um, you could see, uh, you know, it moves around real quick. Uh, probably if I gave it a little more trouble, it would, it would do that. Um, here's a take back function, pass function, move now, forces your opponent to move neat that he moves black and white. Um, under file we have load game and save game. Under settings we have sound, show thinking, warn if in Atari, and uh, save game quarry. Um, this is where we get neat. We're going to go set play, play style options. Now this is where the game gets cool. You can choose your shape right here. You can choose to ignore shape uh, or slavishly follow good shape or default. Here we could have try to keep sente, don't try to keep sente, or in the middle ground. Attempt to build huge moyos, build secure territory only. So if you know what your opponent uh, style is, you could custom this game to play more like your opponent. Use custom Josekis that suit Go++ style. You could use standard book Josekis. And you could even um, have it use a Fuseki system. And here it has a low Chinese, high Chinese, small Chinese, Kobayashi. Um, two versions of that, Ninrensei, Sanrensei, Yonrensei, Gorensei, the Cross Hoshi, the Shusaku, uh, the Enclosure Openings, Orthodox, and then uh, a couple neat ones, Hosai's, Tsuki, uh, Tsuki Fuseki, Tengen, where you open in the middle, 
uh, mirror go where he'll try to mirror you and it's really neat one uh, the Great Wall which I've tried a couple times and I've had a lot of good luck with it with uh, weaker players um, so if we set it to play the Great Wall let's see what happens he's not playing the Great Wall maybe uh, maybe he has to be black yeah there we go There's the Great Wall right there, classic. And he's doing his approaches. It's, it's a lot of fun to play against, uh, play against this. So, uh, there you go with that. And then there is a View Joseki uh, option, which is very close to many phases. And what it does is it has a list of a certain number of games. I'm not sure how many. But it'll tell you, like in the corner, like it looks like there are 65,000 people or 65,000 game records where uh, people open on the star point and then it says the number one uh, I guess Joseki uh, used uh, with 7,000 people is either an approach here or an approach here only two people jump straight into the corner right away so I should uh, tell you guys something and uh, only two people play here you got uh, a lot of uh, Approach here, you got 2,000 for the corner where they just ignore it, which is interesting. And then um, with this approach, black, I guess, play like this. And uh, there's your Joseki. Let's go, let's try one more interesting one. Here's classic. Kick. Boom. Boom. Yeah, it's, it's classic. And then you can just play it out, and it, it seems to uh, keep going. Um, that is about it for the uh, program what I'm planning on doing is um, well here's a few more uh, you can view territory so let's play, play a couple random games moves okay view territory which is neat right you got a nice uh, graphical representation of the territory and um, you could view any ladders Right. Uh, I'm guessing you click on the group of stone. Um, any professional, any moves to make a professional shape for black, for white. Um, you could view liberties. This is how many liberties each group has. Good if you don't like to count your liberties like myself. And um, you could check the influence. Uh, it has a, a system to determine um, what uh, type of influence uh, stones have. Now it looks like these star points have the biggest influence. Uh, well, now it looks like these center stones have a lot of influence according to this program. So there's a lot of influence here uh, with this move. And with this move for your enclosures and such. A uh, little less influence, but I mean, you know, what are you going to do? That's the way the program determines it. And then as you play, um, let's view the influence again. Here's the liberties, good and view influence. Um, as far as how strong it is, like I said, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to try uh, putting uh, many faces against Go++ and Crazy Stone in there. I'm sure Crazy Stone is uh, quite a bit more powerful uh, all around. But we're going to mess around with different colors, maybe some different strength levels and uh, see, what, see what's going on here. But uh, this is pretty much it for Go++. How strong is it? Uh, not sure. It's stronger than me and you know it's got a lot of useful features and I believe it's the cheapest of the three that I'm uh, that I am gonna review at least initially. Many Faces, Crazy Stone, and this Go++. Uh, I don't remember what my buddy said the price was but it's easy enough to Google. Look it up. Um, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, hope you guys like it. I'm getting close to the 50 subscribers. I'm going to try to put out videos a little quicker now that my midterm's over, and uh, I'll struggle with the finals, and then I'll uh, you know, pick it up again. Uh, any questions, comments, uh, let me know. Sorry I, I couldn't uh, do better with the, uh, with the screen. Um, I'm not very tech-savvy as far as recording on the computer, etc. So uh, you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching, and uh, remember to subscribe. See you guys later.